Hello y'all, I'm Elle and <laughs> welcome to my YouTube channel. I do ethical fashion videos and today we are trying a fun upcycling project. I have two jackets that I want to upcycle. They have just been sitting in my closet. It's just a basic crop jacket. This is the first one that I am thinking about vamping up. And then I have this other one that looks very similar. Same thing, just a basic cropped denim jacket. It's a little bit ripped, but you get the point. One is from the Mud brand and the other one is what? Love Tree Denim and it's a size large. And I would really hate for them to collect dust in my closet. So let's see what happens with these. I am really hopeful that I find some cool ideas on Pinterest. If you haven't realized, Pinterest has a lot of DIY and upcycling inspo. And I actually have a DIY project board that I'm going to have pop up right here. I'm screen recording on my phone just so you can see what I'm seeing. But basically, I'm just gonna look for some ideas on what I should do for these jackets. And I have 499 pins, so let's see if we can actually find something. This flower pants, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Whoa, she used acrylic paint. Dang, she did that fast. That's really cool. Okay, let's think about that. Ooh, these pants are beautiful. I have material that looks like that that I could use more for my denim jacket. So that one is definitely cool. I could even bleach the jackets, like the shirt. You could always bleach it. Interesting, interesting. There's a lot of pant ideas, a lot of shirt ideas, but not jackets. Oh, that's cool. It's like a felted material. Not really something I'm going for. Ooh, I could put another design on the jacket with another like denim piece just like overlay and stitch it seems like it's a lot of work though i'm trying to like do this quickly a lot of ideas i'm trying to get more jacket ideas i could stamp it with some bleach i could spray it with bleach but it's already such a light color that i don't think bleach would work so i'm gonna not do bleach for this one i don't have other denim material as well so i think i'm just gonna go with a painting option and like adding some cute fabrics on there could work work out really well i actually pulled out some of the materials i have i didn't go to the store or anything to buy this so i got it from underneath my bed i got these all from a thrift store and i just never used it so i have this alina's premium coat light violet acrylics paint i think it'll work for the jacket um that's what we saw in the video and then i also have this darker one from a different brand called delta surma coat and that is also acrylic i have this soft fabric paint that's leisure white they're all used paints i I've never tried them either. And I've been really into matcha, so I bought this quite a while ago. This matcha sort of green paint, it's also acrylic paint from Alina's. I haven't used it yet and this more like moss paint and then the only paintbrush I had was this so I think I'll be using this for the flower idea I actually pulled this out of the trash not knowing if I would need it just for like stencils maybe it will come in handy I actually have a fabric that I can sew probably right here on the sleeves so let me go grab that I didn't realize I put all the fabrics over on this table and it was like right there. Basically, I have this box full of fabrics that I've just been collecting and I bought this for $2 at the thrift store and it's this sort of application. I think it would be a good idea just to put it on a sleeve right there. I think that would be a good idea and I could even double layer it. So do one and then would do then two around it so it kind of looked like this so it would cover this section so it wouldn't just be like this one strand while there's still some extra space right there if that makes sense so most likely we'll use this for one jacket and then i can paint maybe another jacket with the flowers i think that's what i'm gonna do i think i have my idea Okay, so this is the back of the jacket. 
I'm trying to do one here, another one there, and then another one right in the center. But it doesn't really leave a lot of space for here, here, and there's an empty space here. I'm not thinking about doing anything really here because just it's so small of a space that it wouldn't really make sense. So I'm trying to think what would make the most sense in terms of the flower placement. Um trying to imagine it so let me think about it for another second Okay, it's not a major improvement, but basically I shifted a little bit of the flowers that I had going on. So there was one that was really in the center that was taking up a lot of space and I just moved it down and then I put another one up here. So my goal is just to have four flowers on the back. I'm trying to make it more simple. I think it's just smart if on the entire back, all the flowers are just simply placed on the surface. And when I wear it, hopefully you can just see them. This is a good drop, so I'm now going to start DIYing. I didn't think about that if you use green paint for flowers, they're gonna look like shamrocks. So, you know, we're gonna work with it. It doesn't really matter that they look like shamrocks. It's not the most perfect thing. I may alter my original design and do a little spiral in the middle just to like make it more fun. Shamrocks is not the vibe and I think it could be a little bit more artistic as well. I'm just kind of winging it even though I have a plan. I think I'm pretty much done with the first jacket. So basically here's an overview. I just did five flowers and it has a matcha green base and then it has a lavender dot in the middle. And then we have purple pollen. I really like it. It's giving Y2K teenager vibes, which I'm perfectly okay with. I like how it's cropped already. I did kind of mess up at the bottom. There's an extra little paint dot right there and I got some over here. That was actually within the first second I started. But I was like, I'm gonna keep going. I was thinking about putting paint right here. That was lavender at the sides just to make it a little bit more colorful. But I was like, no, that's a 
little bit too much. I wanted to do a spiral right in the middle of these two flowers just because there's that space right there, but I only have one brush and it's this brush and I tried practicing on the cardboard, but as you can see, it's such a thick brush that that's what it would start off being. And if you notice, there isn't a lot of space in the middle. So I decided not to go ahead, but I'm gonna keep this out to dry. But acrylic paint does dry really fast. You can definitely tell it's DIY. I think it just gives it a fun little cute vibe when it used to just be a boring denim jacket. So with this next jacket, we're simply going to do the sleeves, if you remember. It's honestly a basic denim jacket, but we can make it a little bit more fancy by putting this beautiful glitter moment so it's pretty straightforward i'm not gonna make a design i think the only thing i'll struggle with is knowing how much i need for each sleeve like i was saying i wanted two layers on the sleeve so one will go here on top and then We'll have the other one go around. So it'll be like this and then cut it where they meet together. And then that will generally be how it'll look, just not as messy. My arm has started to hurt from the needle. I'm kind of getting hungry um doing all this work um i like i was explaining earlier to the top to the middle and then the bottom to sew it all together and now i'm just doing the same thing with this one just pinning it all together and just sewing it and let's see if we can get it done in less than 30 minutes i feel like it got a flow from the first one i was being super careful on the first one but now i think i got the hang of it so hopefully it can be much faster now, so let's see. <laughs> I'm still here. Okay, this is the final leg, the final countdown. Da -da 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 -da. I have to just do this at the bottom and I should be good. It's the final few stitches. The last ones are always the hardest because that's where the fabric is the most dense. And so I usually have to use the jacket on itself to push it through instead of using my fingers. So this one took me about 20-ish minutes, which was not bad compared to the first one that took an hour. I feel like I've been sewing for days, but it's been two hours. Okay, so I knotted that, so I'm gonna, perfect. I didn't make an opening in the front of where the original opening was at because I wanted this clean look. So that's how it looks instead of having the button peek through and that's the final result. So let's try it on. So this, again, is a regular jacket. I just did the sleeves for it. I thought it was smaller. But yeah, this is how the jacket looks. And then with the sleeves, it gives it a little extra glam. It is kind of more chunky looking because I did the thing over the button, so it looks more protruded. It doesn't look so natural as before, but I like it. I really like it. Do you like it? Comment below if you like them. But otherwise, what's the vibes? <laughs> but if I would rate it, I would give it a six out of 10. I think it could have done better with the stitching. There's obvious stitching in some areas that I did because I was very impatient. And it just kind of looks very juvenile, which is not really my style. But yeah, I kind of knew that coming in, but it would make it a little bit more fun and fresh and juvenile. I mean, I don't like it, but it's kind of what I wanted. But it was a nice little DIY project after not sewing for the longest time. So now let me get my other jacket. It should have dried off by now, but let me go show you. So it's been two hours since I last showed you this jacket and it's pretty much dried. It's really beautiful. It's kind of messy looking, like it's definitely not perfect, but 
Let's try it on. Okay, I love how this jacket fits. It looks basic and normal in the front. Like, I, we get it, we get it. And then in the back, you got the detail. How does it look? I can't see, but basically this is how I would wear it. I think it's super cool. I love how it fits. I think it's pretty cool. It's not the worst and it's not the best. I think it's pretty average. And it also was my first upcycle after four years. So I have not DIY'd or upcycled anything in years. <laughs> which is bad but yeah i had so much fun making this jacket and the other jacket let me know which one was your favorite i'm gonna rate this jacket five out of ten even though i kind of like both of them the same so i'm gonna do six six out of ten it was a decent try after not doing anything for four years so i'm excited to keep improving my skills definitely a win but we can progress um but yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I make ethical fashion videos every Sunday. I am gonna go rock this jacket in the negative 10 Montana weather. <laughs> See you in the next one, bye.